Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network, my name is Zira, and today we are here on some random island, I don't remember which one, ah, that's right, we are in Albany, and there seems to be some sort of confrontation between these forces in orange, which I believe are assassin forces, backed by the French or something, and then the British over there. So, you know, we've got our friends here, um, Liam and the girl. I don't remember what her name is, but we're gonna, you know, go right into it. We're gonna start talking cool. with them. And we're gonna we're gonna do this mission entitled "We the People." So let's let's see what's going on here. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington. You eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. Hmm. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, okay. find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. So, you're sending me into the thick of it to um, cause hate and discontent with the British. Sneak into Congress undetected. Okay. Well, let's see if I can do this. Me and sneaking don't really go together too well, so we'll see. He's a traitor and was colonel of the warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies now, I think. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, so much for being undetected. <laughs> I should probably just let you know what? I'm gonna let them kill me and I'll just try again. No no no, put your put your stuff away, Shay. Just just let him do it. Just just go with them. It'll be quick. And painless, I, I swear. I promise. Alright. All right, let's start this off, and we'll we'll try again. We'll be slightly sneakier um, in the way we do this, rather than just trying to jump over their heads. Um, boy, there are a lot of guards everywhere. <sighs> Jack, we oh, I guess we're going into the water here. Alright, in that case, Shay, you've got to hurry and get into these little bush thingies before people see you. Okay. Good. Is he coming over here? No, he isn't. Go! Run, Shay! Run for your life! Okay. Hey, it's our friend Ben Franklin. Ah, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As so, I have stated previously, no, that's I believe Franklin. we need a national union, granted by an act of Oh, Parliament, that's William Johnson. But bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join. Or die. A rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. 
He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. Hmm. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. Hmm. I can't okay. let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Done. I love this thing with the berserk dart. And now to Wardrop and the manuscript. Okay. Kill Wardrop with an air assassination. Awesome. Now. Uh oh, what's going on? All right, so we should be able to make it over to here and climb up without too much an issue. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's new. Oh dear, they see me. I'm gonna run and hopefully they won't know where I've gone. They do know where I've gone. All right, let's hide in the bushes right here. He's coming still. Please walk right into these bushes. Alright. Come on. Into the bushes. Thank you. Alright. So it looks like we need to go that way. I need to kill Wardrope with an air assassination, huh? Can I just... Nope. Alright, I didn't think I could. But, it was worth a try. Where's the guard? Hmm. Oh! A rope swing! Alright. Treasure chest down there, huh? No, no, stick to the mission, Shay. Stick to the mission. Don't, don't be distracted by treasure right now. <gasps> Alright, there's nobody right here. see any guards now. How can they get up here? Is it just by... Oh, I'm on top of a tower. They can't get up here. Alright, can I see my target at all? No. Hmm. So we've got that guard on the wall. That guard over there is going to be an issue. Can I hit him from here? I cannot. Um... Let's you now let's use the berserk dart. That way he is gone for good. We're gonna move right up to the edge and then wait for him because he's gotta come a little bit closer, right? Yeah, like right here. There we go. That's perfect. The guard on the tower is taken care of. Uh oh. Kill Wardrope. Oh no, he's running? Wardrope is fleeing the fort. Well, that's not what I wanted. Alright. I'm coming, I'm coming. They don't know where I am yet, or do they? Oh, they do. Alright. Probably shouldn't have just jumped off the building, but we're good. That didn't go to plan at all. Hmm. 
How did how did they know that there was an assassin here? I need an air assassination on this guy. Come here, wardrobe. Oh, those orange guys are after me too, huh? Ow. He's finally stopped to fight. That's good. Come on. Come on. Come on, get him. Yes. Ah, uh -huh. It's not quite an air assassination, is it? Go. Okay. Go. Oh dear, so much for my air assassination. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> We bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Hmm. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. All right, what do we need to do? We just need to escape. Okay, that's that's good. We can do that. Like we're just going to climb up the face of this building. Oh no, you don't. Ha ha, take that. Oh, yes you are. Bam. All right, we'll synchronize and then we'll jump into the hay and they won't even know we were here. God. Hmm. Okay. War letter. Prosperity. Couple of shanties. A Templar map. Oh, that's interesting. We have this animus fragment way out there. I think we've escaped. Maybe. Alright, let's see if we can... Oh, we definitely escaped. Okay, I got one. Couldn't get wardrobe undetected, unfortunately. Ah. Come on. Get it. Get the shanty. This, this thing runs. Much, uh, much better than it did in the other game. They're much sneakier now. All right, there's another one. We'll try to get that one too while we're at it. And we'll just, just see if we can stay up in the air. Or is it on the Congress building? Yeah. Thank. Oh no, it must be up behind the Congress building. Yeah, it's up here, so... Perhaps... Perhaps we should climb the Congress building. There we go. And then we can start here and run for it! And I said run for it. Not the other thing. Don't come after me, Warner Brothers. I'm not infringing on your stuff. Alright. Now. 
Beaver Johnny is the wonderful song we got. Now we need to head somewhere over this way. And I'm not sure... Oh, it's not even on this island, is it? <laughs> Let's take the boat back to our ship. Alright, so where are we headed to next? Nope, not that way. This way. Alright. Way over here. To this, whatever this is. So let's sail there. Let's move! Let's move there. You heard him. You heard Shay. As much sail as you Where's Liam? Interesting that we don't have Liam here with us. Why won't it let me stay in travel mode? Right, I think we need to go around the point here. What's that? Uh, Twin Snake Path. Okay. Oh, we got a boat or, or another ship over there that looks like it's on fire. Interesting. What do we have for cargo on this thing? The HMS Athena, huh? All right, so we're gonna we're gonna take a trip over here to see what this ship has to offer. All right. Blues up, laser sticks. Release the wheel. There we go. All right, boys, keep her steady. We have some cargo. One minute to get it, though. Alright. What happened here? We have some red coats on the decks. Some stone. A little bit of wood. This is it, really? Like, it wasn't even worth my time to come on the ship. Should have just sunk it and called it good. All right. Wonder if I can make it back to the ship, back to controlling my ship and sink it before the timer runs out. Hi there. All right, we got this. Come on, Shay. Captains. Ha ha. Here's we have cargo, or, or not cargo, but treasure. Oops. Sorry. Let go, Shay. I want you to go over here and find this treasure. Now, where did that ship sink to? We're right on the shore here. There can't be that far, like, it can't have dropped off that much that a whole ship could just be... Like, swallowed. What is it, up here? Aha! I hope that's snow that's showing where I can climb. Not like bird droppings. Shay, you better wash your hands when you, before you get on board. All right. Captain Corpus, a trip to. All right, guys. Off we go. We're heading 400 meters away to Sleepy Hollow. Okay. Some sort 
We gonna see our headless friend? Nah, we're fine. I got control. Let's dock up. Perfect. And then, while we're right here, I noticed that there was a notification about some upgrades available. So let's see what those are. Alright. We have a little bit of tobacco we can sell. Not much at all. Alright, and then let's go and check out the Morrigan here. We could upgrade the hull armor. A little more money, we could upgrade our cannonades. We can't do mortars yet, though. Hmm, what about, what about the burning oil? Can we, we have burning oil now. We could upgrade it. Let's, let's upgrade the puckle gun. And then I don't think we're going to have any money. Oh, we have... We can do the hull armor. So we'll do that. We get the puckle gun and the hull armor. And now we'll go take a look at our ship. Yeah! Yeah! Hooray! I like... I like how they actually have graphical updates to the ship as we increase its strength here. Like, the gray. I like the gray color. And then the, the little blue stripe, not so much, but whatever. Alright, now we're in Sleepy Hollow. Um... Hmm. Do I want to sleep a hollow church? Okay. You know what? Let's head to the top of Sleepy Hollow's Gentlemen, little church ladies, here. Good citizens within the sound of my voice. There is a plague of wild hair about. These creatures are devouring so much grain that the very crops that sustain our community are in great jeopardy. Oh no, a plague of rabbits. Why are there random pumpkins literally everywhere here? In the sound of my voice. There is a plague of wild hair about. These creatures are devouring so much grain that the very crops that sustain our community are in great jeopardy. A handsome reward will be paid to any man, woman, or child who brings in the severed heads of these loathsome creatures. The Jacobite doctor, Archibald Cameron. Okay, so they're offering rewards for the corpses of rabbits. That's interesting. I mean, I suppose they're eating all the food, so why not? Let's grab this. Come on, you can do it, Shay. Get it. Got it. All right, we got one collectible, one shanty. What is the shanty? Blood Red Rose, huh? All right. Huh. All right, I know it's been a fairly short episode, but I think we're actually gonna stop right here. And next time when I return, we will talk with our friend there. I still don't remember her name. I think it's like Rose or something. And we will figure out what's going on. This looks sort of dastardly here. What are we doing? This Is this some sort of, like, evil laboratory? It looks like it. We've got, like... I, I don't even know. Things with wires on them. Are those grenades? Is this like an assassin arms dump? Anyway, yeah. Enough speculation. Next time when we return, we'll talk to our friend. We'll get the mission going. We'll find out what's going on here. 
Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Assassin's Creed Rogue. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.